right now in the workforce, there are five generations existing. Now that doesn't mean at your institution there, or your location there may be five, but overall, when you look at a Fortune 1000 company, you're looking at a company that has these five existing in their situation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of these generations individually. I'm going to talk a little bit about what makes them unique, what makes them different, what makes them the same, and how it's defined. Okay. So generally, you've got the traditionalists, the baby boomers, the Gen Xers, the millennials, and now what's called Gen Zers, or you might hear them as iGens or Centennials. Okay, based on their date. Now, it's important to know these three things, because when we think about generations, a lot of the miscommunication that exists out there is because, A, not a lot of people do data on generations. It's just starting to become really popular in the last 15, 20 years. Before that, people were operating on their own assumptions, their own experiences, their own conversations, <coughs> what their mom or their dad used to be like, versus what their friends are like. And so things would start to kind of just generally get pulled together and people would generalize a generation based on their own experiences. But what research has shown us is that each generation defines its own belief system.